Alrighty. Oh good, Output Capture 2 is muted. Why would that be? Back on. Yes! It worked! Hello! Oh good, Output Capture 2 is muted. Why would that be? It worked! Hello! That's pretty good, actually. Why you don't you shrink? Don't shrink! Alright, we're ready! I think, I think we're ready to go. Okay, hey everybody, whoa, my little ghosts fell off right now. Shrink. Shrink. All right, we're ready. I think I think we're ready to go. So I'm going to an area that a lot of people were telling me to go to last time. That's pretty good, actually. And I actually already went there. But I'm going to show off how you get there in case anyone's curious. Okay. Hey everybody, whoa. Anyone's curious. Okay. So you can see here we're getting a lot of those like scarlet flowers that um, the game is calling blood roses. And they are associated with the Lord of Blood, who I believe is called Morg or Morg or something. Basically. There's a church in this area. Oh no, there isn't. Give me another one. Um, basically, one of the, the Lord of Blood people invades you around here. I already killed like them. Scarlet flowers that, um, and the game is calling you blood this way. Hello! And they are associated with the Lord of Blood. Oh, Echo on the delay. That's because I haven't muted Lord YouTube. Lord Thank you. Basically. Thank you for pointing that out, that does happen. There's a lot of inputs and outputs involved in this thing, it, it, it gets a little thingy. Thank you, uh, thank you for saying a look good. This, this, um, dress is actually by someone who listens to us. Who you can find on Redbubble at Tindalos Malakia, one word. Where am I going? The point is, I did get there. I got there once, I can find it again. Yeah, the echo's done, don't worry. There's an echo and a delay on the people telling me there's an echo, which... Let's look around here. Get down here. Does it disappear once you use it? I think that's it. There we go. So 
so over here we have these little... These guys are also Albanorix, um, for people who haven't been super following it. The Albanorix are like artificial sort of homunculus people. So there's one here. And he is guarding this little teleporter, which we need to get off to use. My understanding is there's five endings. And I think I meet the criteria for f three or four of them. Um, one I know is tied to Dung Eater, and that involves searching for these, like, random items and something that, like, I could probably do. But, um, we'll see, like, how I'm feeling later on. So I don't know how long this is going to go for. So anyway, it teleports us here. Oh, this is a dead end as far as I'm aware. Yes, good. And that leads us to... So this is where the Lord of Blood lives. Um, he sounds nice. We're going to go see him. So I have been here a little bit. I'll show you. It's another one of those weird underground areas. Six or seven, good god. Okay, so this is where he lives. This this is the side of Grace, I've actually already touched this one. Let's rest there again. So this place is really good because right down here. We have this is kinda of like New Londo ruins where like they, they don't move, they just sit there. The runs with the redheads will move, but these ones won't, and you can just do this. 2,000 runes. So I was here for about an hour earlier, grinding, and I think I'm at a respectable level now, so... Literally past this point here, I don't know what's happening, so let's go. Okay, so I didn't get off Torrent by choice then. This looks like we're being invaded. Nameless White Mask, okay. Oh, I'm not fighting this thing. Ha! Ah. This is already a mess, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's back where I came from, isn't it? So I think the bird was a mistake. It's just, uh... Oh, for God's sake! Oh, he died too. Thank you, gravity. So we should be able to get through here without being invaded again, which means we can keep torrent, so...
Okay, so... Oh, for fuck's sake, we're being invaded again, aren't we? I'm guessing it's through here. Oh, well, rune farming seems kind of mandatory in this. Like, it's... Oh, my God. We talked about this a little last time, but, like, the recommended kind of endgame level seems much, much higher than you'd, like, think, than you'd just get by playing through it normally. scouting this place out. I don't quite know how I'm supposed to get out of here. Like, I've heard endgame level is 140. And last time we were playing I was like 80. But I'm up to, I think, 130 now, because I just farmed those um, little blob men. So, oh my god. It's very windy right now, so my door keeps kind of half blowing open, and I think there's someone knocking. Radio, hang on. So, it's got an overlook. That's where we were, and the palace is... This is actually my favourite part about this, is figuring out these areas. We might be able to go down that way. But it looks like... Oh, hang on, sorry. So I'm guessing, like, that's the path along there. So our goal is to get kind of over in that direction. And climb the mountain. It looks like we have to get around that way. But, um, we're constantly going to be invaded by White Mask, it looks like. Okay. 
So if Torrent disappears, it means White Mask's invading again. Is it through here? Please be through here. We'll go in this direction again. You're the Emil looking guys, yeah. You meet, um, like, sort of more human looking ones who are also Albanorix. And they kind of doubled over a bit like the Chapel Dweller from Bloodborne. They actually use the Chapel Dweller's model, they just change the robes. And these, I guess, are like an advanced stage or something, because these guys give you, like, clotted blood and stuff, and I think they're... They're coming here, I think... Because they want, like, the blood from the gods here or something to make them, like, more human or something like that. That's the impression I'm getting. I don't know if it's correct. I've just realized this is, uh, this is the concept art version of the Nightmare Frontier, isn't it? Because the concept art Nightmare Frontier had this exact color scheme. So if we stick to the wall... Second generation, okay, that makes... oh, okay. Little, uh, Gushadokura problem here. I've barely read any of this. I, I'm just, um... Like, people are asking me about the story, and so far it's just like, I'm trying to get to the end game. So that I can then go back. Um, like, with the benefit of fast travel and the benefit of, like, kind of knowing what happens. And figure it out from there. I haven't seen any of the Outer God stuff yet, no. I assumed it was going in that direction because there's all this, like, things that are, like, born of the void and there's these, like, amygdala stuff and, like, and they have skull faces and... Aha! Jason. Good steak of America. The 
This looks like the way. Oh, for God's sake. My mouse cursor is in the way. Exert a zero, hello. That's a statue we see quite a bit in the underground areas. I don't know who it's supposed to be yet. Okay, this looks like a boss arena, so... Oh, here we go. This is an underground area called Mogwin Palace that you have to access through a warp gate. I think it's also tied to a PvP covenant that I never did anything with because I've not done any PvP. I've been baking instead! It's cherry. Wilson, is this sketchy? Tell me. I don't know what this boss is going to be, but I know that um, Allison was stuck here for quite a bit earlier, but she did do it, and apparently he gives over 400,000 runes, which gives you a rough idea of where they expect endgame levels to be, but that's a useful amount. It's going to be a wolf. They're close. That's Mikola. You must abide alone a while. Welcome, honored guest, to the birthplace of our dynasty. So I'm just going to guess a lot of bleed damage from this guy, um, some, like, blood lake AoE. It's okay, I brought a friend. Are you going to do anything, little buddy? That seemed bullshit.
Oh shit. Nicola is mine and mine alone. He had like less than a pix Wait, he Okay. Okay. As clear as day. Well, I mean we we He died as I was dying. Yeah, so the, all, the Mimic, um, the reason I have the Grease equipped is the Mimic has whatever you have, but no limitation on it. So I can give him, like, Frost or whatever, and he will be able to use it, like, infinitely. I'm actually de-equipping the Torch, because for some reason he had the Torch last time. Alrighty. Okay, that... Nicola is mine and mine alone. Like, he doesn't seem insurmountable, it's just... Yeah, the, the damage is always gratuitous in these. It's... Which is at a point where, like, the numbers are ludicrous. Well, it's like, you saw that where it's like, I get hit, it's not obligatory, how do you counter it? I have no idea. There's an item called Mog Shackle. I have Market Shackle. You get it by following Yura's questline. I... I don't think we have time for another quest today. I think we're just gonna do this. Because we, we're getting him, like, almost dead. Like, consistently. Fuck it, let's use one of our rune arcs. We've got 36 of them, I never use them.
see it as clear as day. The coming of our dynasty. We got him before the bullshit angel phase. Cool. So, hang on. This is Mikola. Like, do anything. It's not a dog, you silly person. So, can I do anything with this? Like, this was gated off, so I'm guessing. Okay, I thought there'd be like a thing up the back. Yeah, I've barely been using Runarchs, because, um... So one of those things, like, they're limited, so I'm like, I must never use this. Okay, well... Can I talk to Mikola? Hello? 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 Alright. And this... I guess this goes nowhere. No, we're not gonna jump. Oh. <laughs> There's an empty tunnel. DLC, well, I think, like, the impression I'm getting with a lot of this is that they built the map. And then they, they kept changing up, like, the progression and stuff, but... They didn't sort of want to change up the map after the progression was changed, so they just have all these little, like, weird little dead ends and places you teleport to, so... Uh, first is I want to see what Mog's Remembrance gives you. Don't pass it. So that gets us... A uh, sacred spear comes in my dynasty, instrument of communion with an outer god who bestows power upon a curse of blood. Okay. And then we have Frost Arm into the Formless Mother. I'm guessing she's the, it says there, the Mother of Truth. Um, scatter the blood flames at the area place. The Mother of Truth craves wounds. When Mog stood before her deep underground, his accursed blood erupted with fire and he was besotted with the defilement that he was born into. Mog, our remembrance of Mog, Lord of Blood, hewn into the Erd Tree. Um, wishing to raise Mikaela to full godhood, Mog wished to become his consort, taking the role of monarch, but no matter how much of his bloody bedchamber he tried to share, oh my, um, he received no response from the young Empyrean. Okay. No. So, we're not going to make either of those, so let's just burn this thing. Uh, where is it? And we, we might be able to get a whole four levels out of this. Hang on. As you can see, I have 81 strength, and it continues to go up. Like, the damage, like... We can get a full, like, three more attack rating by going to 85. I should be able to get one more level if I burn this. If you talk to Gideon, he shares mentioning things. Okay, cool. was with the Lord of Blood after all. That is some fine intelligence indeed. With it, the final clue has been brought into the light. One of the last few pieces of the round table. I need to put everything together. As promised, allow me to impart to you the last of the secret rites known only to me. Oh, so that's where the so-called Lord of Blood was hiding himself, eh? 
A fitting little squad for that deluded maniac to bleat about the revival of his precious dynasty while he turns our fellow Tarnished into bloody fingers. Let him stay there. That way, his delusions will remain as they are, distant and unattainable. But perhaps it's worth looking into. If what I've heard is right, then maybe. Ah, my apologies. Lost myself for a moment there. The information you've shared is of great value. As promised, your reward. And it is a wondrous thing indeed. You are a true fellow. All I ask is that you remain constant. There are four more demigods yet to be located. Nicola of the Halig Tree. The unalloyed. His twin, Melania. The undefeated swordswoman. Luna Princess Rani. Daughter and the Rani is said to have saw here. If you should learn, I'll trade. We both did as son. See what the great room uh, tells us. <clears throat> um, Divine Tower of East Altus, which stands beyond the Great Bridge in the Eastern Ward. Okay. But the Divine Tower of West Altus, my apologies. Oh, it's that, isn't it? It's this past here. Alright. We're going to a tower. So what's left after this is um, Millicent's quest and Millicent's quest and um, Mikela, who I don't... No, not Mikela. Melania. Melania, who I, like, straight up don't want to bother with. <laughs> and, um... Do you go up or down? I don't know where I'm going anymore. Um, Melania, who I don't want to bother with, and um, uh, Ludwig. Okay, so it's this way. Okay, that'll be the Divine Tower of uh, West Altus. And I cannot use my horse here. Oh, that's ominous. Oh. Hello? Some untended graves shit. Hang on. Really? Alright, oh, oh, okay. There's a secret boss in Faram Azulifia to the bottom of the volcano. Okay, we'll try that then. Omen Killer Rollo.
Please, okay. Oh, it's teleported me to the other end, okay. Floating ruin pieces. I will do that when I'm done with this tower. Double check this was the right one. Hang on. East out. East Altus. Oh, Morgot and, uh, Morg. Okay, what do they do? Morgot, uh... Owen King was born with a and golden lineage, we... Okay, and, um... Morg and Morgot are twin brothers and their great runes are naturally similar. Morg's rune is in a case of blood. Okay. Hey, wave sounds. Yeah, yeah, everyone's using Mimic here. I'm expecting them to nerf it. Nerf it and please nerf Melania. So, you said, um, from Arsula, get to the bottom of the vault, bottom of the vortex. How do you get to Mog? Okay, so there's two ways to get to Mog as far as I understand it. One is to do Vara's Invasion Quest. If you don't want to do Vara's Invasion Quest, it's the way that I did it, because I haven't invaded anyone, is you go to the, the snowfield area that leads to the Halic Tree. I'll show you. Um, how long this map takes to load because it's so massive? Okay, so you go to the snowfield area that leads to the Halic Tree, and there... There's like a little teleport thing that takes you to the, um, to the, the Mogwin Ruins. So, I'm supposed to be looking for... Alright, so that's, that's where I gotta go. I don't think I can survive that drop, so we won't. You know what, let's try anyway, because there's a grace right there, it's not like I have anything to lose. Yeah, this looks insta-kill, yeah. There's a kill box. I don't have anything to lose except the rune arc, but I'm going to die anyway, so...
So it is now 1 a.m., I think. 3 a.m. is going to be the time at which I call it, because I have been staying up till uh, 7 or 8 in the morning lately, and that's not a healthy habit. Okay, so this doesn't have anything under it. Um, bottom of the Tempest. What am I drinking? I'm just drinking a uh, lukewarm Pepsi Max. The drink of champions. Earlier I was drinking uh, this taro flavored bubble tea. Which is basically pure sugar and I shouldn't be drinking it. The thing about Elden Ring is I'm like, well, I can tank my health and sleeping uh, thing for a week to beat Elden Ring and then be okay again, but it's this is day nine. It's still going. One day I will show off um, on stream my collection of limited edition sodas. <laughs> And things like that that I've just, like, bought and kept in a box. So I know they're never coming out again. So that's where I gotta get to. And... It's obviously not coming from this direction. Um, I can't jump from here. So let's look over here. I got rid of the dragons here, by the way. Um, I killed them off stream. No, Crystal Pepsi has not uh, been here during my archival like spree. I have the limit. I have the Deadpool flavored. Um, I think it was V. I have the graphite flavored stuff that I've talked about a few times. I've got Gary flavored milk. Um, the milk's obviously not still in there. That would be revolting. Um. There was some, like, Iron Man brand, like, it was called Reactor, and you shook it up and it went weird colours. Like, I, I, um, I had to write a doctorate, so... <laughs> I'm very, very, very familiar with just, like, drinking tons of stimulating shit you shouldn't be to stay awake. Graphite flavor, it was real. I'll show it off one day. Um... It tasted like a pencil. It did. Um... It initially launched as a, like, um... It was to do with the Wolverine movie. Wolverine was on the cans. He's not of the ones I have. That was after that. But I... Th I, I th my theory behind graphite-flavored soda was that they wanted it to be adamantium-flavored to tie in with Wolverine. 
And then they were like, actually, we shouldn't call it that because that makes it sound poisonous. We'll call it graphite because that's also, like, metallic and everyone, everyone chews pencils and they're not dead, so... I, we have oh, Coca-Cola with coffee? I've got some of that. That was really weird. It was just sugar-free Coke with this horrible coffee aftertaste. Um... I came this way before, and that that's actually where I got this armor set from. There's like a little, like, tower over here. Hello. Oh wow, Coca-Cola! You like your Cynthia? Another like Coca-Cola coffee? Okay, I have like one one little can of it. I was trying to have yogurt soda last time. If anyone missed that, it's basically lemonade with the aftertaste of yogurt. <coughs> Gary flavored milk is part of the podcast lore. I think at this point, but it was um. There's a drop-down right for after the first room with the first enemies. Okay. Um, Gr Gary flavored milk is something we've talked about on the podcast before. It, w it was literally, um... It was flavored milk. It was flavored milk and it was just, um... It was just called Gary. It was like Gary chocolate, Gary strawberry, Gary banana. And I don't know what the story behind that was. I don't know why they thought Gary was a good name for flavored milk, but it was indeed called Gary. And um I uh it came out when I was 16. It was a very long time ago and even then I knew that the world had to know about Gary. So I saved the Gary carton by filling it with plaster of Paris to preserve it. Allegedly, there is a drop down here. That looks promising. <gasps> oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Let's try clench. Good. The taste of Peruvian marca. Yes, thank you, Wave Sounds. You've like Googled it. Graphite V. It was like it was like chewing a pencil with this sort of weird fruity aftertaste to it. Like during my dissertation, I was like, "You're supposed to have like one big can of energy drink a day as like a maximum," and I was like. I was buying cases, and I like one case was breakfast, one case was lunch, one case was dinner. And, like, I am surprised that, like, I didn't have a heart attack. Is that the... Okay, good. I thought that was, like, a weird snake thing. Well, Gary Milk's probably, like, completely toxic. Or actually, probably evaporated by now. Um, does this become the arena? Because I can't see a way to, like... Okay. 
Okay. Weird. Oh. Lie down. Okay. If this one also heals itself while setting you on fire, um... I don't know. Oh, it's Castlevania Symphony of the Night now. Are we rewinding time? Oh my god, we are! Is this like, um... Like if Superman flies around the world the other way it rewinds time? Like with that... Tempest is flowing so fast rewinding time? This is... Oh my god! See, if people missed, like, the last time, um, this, like, this is the source of those ruin fragments we keep finding on the ground. Oh, it's Mother Dragon from Dark Souls 3, isn't it? This was on an item description. There's, like, a big four-winged, four-headed dragon that's, like, the beginning of all time or something. Oh, it's two heads, okay. It's, like, Gidra. Oh no, it looks like it, it looks like it had four heads and two have come off. Now the only bosses I have left open are complete bullshit, so Um it's gonna take a lot to like get me to give up on this one, but I think they can manage. Dragon Wind Grace. Oh, for... There's gonna be a second phase, isn't there? Oh, okay, never mind. How long does he do this for? Oh, yeah, okay, right.
Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Good. First try. I'd like to thank Estradiol, the true game of y'all. Don't worry, my dear. Okay, power from remembrance. Uh, the Dragon Lord whose seat lies at the heart of the storm beyond time is said to have been Elden Lord in the age before the Erd Tree. Once his god was fled, the Lord continued to await its return. So he's presumably like one of the um, outer gods we're talking about here. That gives us um, Piercing Gravel, so Primeval Lightning, and the Dying Wells of the Dragon Lord who dwelled beyond time. Well, not anymore. Barbetch. Gimme runes. Oh yeah, I tried the triangle square thing, I couldn't get it to work. I don't know if it's like... We'll try it, no, hang on. Okay, two other levels. Um... See, it, hit point, hit point, like, increases a sort of, like, they've leveled off. I'm only getting, like, 50-ish per level, but, like... Strength key- I shall do one in each, so we'll get even 730 AR. Um. Okay, I'm gonna try that, so it's trying- Oh, okay, I was pressing triangle and square at the same time, I get it now. Right, so, um, we've slain the dragon god who dwells eternally beyond time. Which you think would be harder than just like a dog with a sword, but it's not. Yeah, 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 the strength keeps going. Like, this is... I, I actually... I like this, because, um... It's always been off to me that the Souls games, the stats go from 0 to 99. But realistically, they actually go from 0 to about 45, and then you just get this massive drop-off. Um... So this is the guy we were stuck on last time. Not this guy, we ran past him. I love how these guys on horseback, uh, just you can just... The, the advantage of having a horse is presumably that you're faster than other people, but not not today. Um. I'll just show you this. This is, um, I explained this to Sin, because when, when we first saw this guy in the trailer, Sin said, Oh, it's Ludwig! And then people got mad at her. So I just want to point out, like... Become my blade once more.
The you can't say how dare you reference Ludwig when describing this guy because like Bloodborne PSX is less of a Bloodborne callback than this. Hey Lorak. Okay. So I've been told this is like an endgame state. So... Oh! Armored Core predictions I really- I, I'm actually way more excited for that Armored Core game than, than Elden Ring. Don't tell Elden Ring I said that. I was expecting that to take like an hour, so I don't know what we're going to do now. We can try fighting Melania again. Hey Salvador, we're in the endgame. So what I might actually do is... I might get to the endgame state, quit, back up the save. If that's possible, and then like reload. So we can get multiple different endings. Hang on. Hang 
hang on, can I like... Oh, the other ones are locked off. Right, okay. Okay, so the other place is still... You can still get there. But... Every, I guess it's only affecting everything inside here. Let me check out what it looks like from Capital Rampart. Egg City. Another name for our audience. Oh, they... No, okay, they didn't. This is how you get into Lanedell. I'm just gonna, like, go in and see what it looks like from in here. Raidor premieres in 82 minutes. Shit. Okay, I've got 82 minutes to beat the game. This would actually be kind of interesting to explore, because it looks like it's all still here. Yeah, the graces are still good, and you can activate them again. Okay. I wonder if it's like in, it's like Dark and Orlando, and it's like entirely empty. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Okay, so... Shortcut works. Okay. So, um... So, Sin said Piano Guitar believes in you. I'm gonna do Sin explaining Piano Guitar to her boyfriend last night. It was... <clears throat> boyfriend, I came up with a new character while I was drinking. It was very funny. Okay. Um, Malekith Blackblade. The power of his namesake can be unlocked by the finger reader. She's dead. Malekith was a shadowbound beast given to his Empyrean Marika's soul need of her... Wait. Malekith was a shadowbound beast given to his Empyrean. Malekith... No, fuck. Malekith was a shadowbound beast given to his Empyrean. Marika's soul need of her shadow was a vessel to lock away destined death even then she betrayed him. So he's actually very similar to Blyde. Because Blight is like in debt, it like works for Rani. Um, Fragment of Death was stolen on that fateful night, which you'll recall was a night of wintry fog. Uh, Malekith bound the blade within his own flesh that none might ever rob death again. And the blade was once imbued with destined death. Uh, blah blah blah. Okay, right. Sorry. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do now is, I am going to upload the save because I think we can probably show off multiple endings if we do this right. So if I just upload. And then what, what we can do is we can download and like check out the, the different endings uh, when we get there. People have been saying Sin is increasingly sounding like my impression of her.
Sin's impression of me is just, it's like, oh, this game is so hard, I just can't do it. Oh, I first timed it. Ha ha ha. I hope I don't sound like that. Oh, it'll back up the save. Okay, I don't know what's coming next. One more boss. Okay, one more boss. That's fine. Since, well, no, because, oh my god, it's too difficult. I can't do it. That's just Sin's voice for everyone who annoys her. Okay, 76 minutes to beat this boss. Who are you? Are you okay? Alright, let's think about this. This is roughly where we were, like, when we met, um... Melina, so, okay. I just want to get this over with. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's this way. Everyone who annoys- everyone who annoys Finn talks like this. And everyone who corrects Shin when she's wrong talks like this, uh, I'm so smart. Those are the only two voices she does, but she does them incessantly. Hello? Okay, I'm- I'm- oh. And here you'd come, to stand before the Elden Ring, to become Elden Lord. What a sad state of affairs. I commend your spirit, but alas. None shall take the throne. Queen Marika has high hopes for us that we continue to struggle unto eternity.
Oh my god. You fought well until now. He just blew up. I mean, I thought that seems fine. It's, it, it's again, it's that thing the game keeps doing where characters have, like, a boss has some sort of enormously damaging AoE to stop you wailing on them. Why do I have a big angry eye on me? I assume, like, he's the all-knowing, so he knows, like, every spell in the game. It's something like that. Oh, he, do he does do field. Well, si okay, Sin should be him because Sin is a research assistant. Oh, wait, there's a, t there's a Grace over here. I just want to see if I still need the Arsenal charm to stay medium. Shit, no, don't worry, okay, never mind. Um, where is it? Damn it. Oh well. You can find this other research assistant jobs, you'll be fine. Imagine fucking up your life by doing a PhD. That's, that's the problem I have to face. You're at least useful. Okay, this is Marika's bedchamber. What's the left face here? A tree heal. I mean, I'm okay at this game, but I'm also too old to be a Twitch thought, so I don't know how I'm gonna make money off it. Okay, this is, um... So, prediction, um... Probably Godfrey, because we fought a big gold Godfrey before. It seems weird that they'd put, like, a Godfrey model in here, but also Godfrey's in the credits, I know that much, so... That'll be Godfrey. The Valkyrie Lady's cool if you're not fighting her. Sin, I think you should be Godfrey, because he's got a lion on his back, and you can have Enzo on your back. It's been... A long while, Morgoth.
I just want to say of all the characters, I feel the most for Morgit slash Margot. Like they're like they're like my Gwendolyn for this game. Long and hard didst thou fight, tarnished warrior, spurned by the grace of gold. Be assured, the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. Alas, I am returned. To be granted audience once more. Upon my name as Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. He hits very hard, uh, surprising no one. Okay, props for not having the second phase trigger at zero health, because that's really annoying. They all have the right idea except Melania. That will be all. Thou didst me good service, Sirach. Okay, don't have that be Enzo. Enzo, don't watch this. I mean, technically, you are friend zoned by Queen Marika. Courtesy enough. My brain is overloading with the number of people I need to tell about this scene, because they're just going to be all over it. Now I fight just horror, Lou. Warrior! So horror, Lou is someone that we heard about. So I think the implication here is like... Godfrey, like, he was horror, Lou. He took the name Godfrey when he became the Lord, like, the Elden Lord. In the same way that, like, Margit seems to take Morgoth as a name.
tarnished. Thy strength befits a crown. You all saw that <laughs> first tried hurler. Yeah, it's, we don't know which. Like it's, so I'm gonna save and back up now, because this people said one last boss. This looks like the last boss. So I'm gonna upload so we can see the endings. I don't know how many I have unlocked. I thought this was going to drag on for like hours, but um, that gargoyle greatsword is just like... So this is making me feel like I probably can kill Melania, but maybe not on stream. I like how Gideon gave me more of a problem than Godfrey. <laughs> I guess the thing about Godfrey is like, I, um... Godfrey is like... Unless we have to fight Queen Marika. Which is entirely possible, but, you know. We'll see. Like, because Godfrey, like, I could see Godfrey was doing a lot of, like, the ground is glowing, it's going to explode. Which, at this point, like, the game has quote-unquote tutorialized by having so many bosses do it. That the second I see a boss pause, I just get the fuck away from them, because I know they're going to explode. So, it's exactly 2am now. I'm going to say, like, do we have to fight Queen Marika? Oh yeah, there's a stupid summon sign here. I'm gonna level up. I'm gonna put them all in endurance, because I'm trying to get to a stage where I don't need the arsenal charm. Uh, and even if I don't, I get... Yes! Good! Medium load. Okay. Uh, get some more hit points. You have to fight Radagon, who is also Queen. Ma I don't know if that's a joke or not. All right. Let's see if there's any NPCs for this. Does not look like it. Okay. Do we have an hour to do whatever we have left? This is this is from the trailer. This is like the area with the bomb bomb bomb. Oh, that was Queen Marika in the trailer, okay. Okay, forget everything about, like, it's almost done, like, this is... I have a very bad feeling about this. <laughs> and she's- that's Radagon because of the red hair. I thought you were joking when you said that shit, okay.
Radagon of the Golden Order. Shit, wrong button! Okay, we should equip the Lightning Defense Talisman next time. It's extremely hard. Really hoping that wasn't a phase one. It's a phase one, the music's not stopping. Is phase two gonna be Marika? Gotta jump, okay, I'll remember that. Next time I do this, I'll use the lightning talisman and, um,. Elden Beast.
How much Radagon weak to? Okay, um... I don't know if I can do it. Not a great start. Okay, Elden Beast. That went a little better. Now I need to like... I didn't understand his little... Oh, it's like... I don't understand how to dodge that. Like, this seems very doable, like just that little tut -tut 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 thing. I don't understand, like, what you do. Because rolling doesn't seem to do anything. Do you have to run around it?
Don't roll, just run. Okay, thank you. It looks like Ultra's arrow thing, and also, um, the lightning. I, am, I think that's Nameless King's lightning, like, I remember that exact animation and dodging it. I'm gonna go magic this time. Oh, that's right, I have a whole lot of rune arcs. Hang on, let's just go. Fuck it. Oh my god, I can't believe Jack Septic Eye is here. Okay, let's go.
Alright. We should just unlock for this. I don't think you can miss it. Yeah, we're not doing this now. So be a chance to Right, okay, thank you, I got it. <laughs> I don't know if we're getting this done in the next half hour, but like we're making okay progress. <laughs>
I'm gonna mix up another physic.
sitting through all this every time is kind of getting to me. Alright, let's go. Oh. Shit. Oh! You can tell, like, this is kind of what they wanted cause to be, you know. Okay, this stupid ring thing. I jumped over it. Still gets me. Oh, no, 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 no. What is this? I don't know what is happening. Oh. Like I'm not fucking playing Toho here. What is this?
But it's it's very difficult to like the first time you do it because it's like weird balls of light, and I don't know what direction they go in. I don't know what they do. So I'm like, I'm going fine. There's just this orb floating there, and my health is going down. I don't even know what it's doing or how to avoid it. Is it tracking me? I don't know. Um. <sighs> There's a cheese whale, there's, I hope there's some way, like it doesn't, you can see like we're getting it down to like very low health, the problem is there's just, you just get caught in this weird barrage of golden glowy crap and that's, you can't really do anything. I feel like that attack is massively excessive for a phase one. Like, just the amount of I'm gonna make the ground explode is really starting to annoy me because... Actually, yeah, can you delay it, Sen? Can you delay it to like 3.30 my time? So the door keeps rattling. Oh shit, it's doing a thing, hang on. Okay, this is a thing I don't get. I get that you jump over it. Where's the thing? Right. Okay, you have to be you have to be right on the edge because like Let's <sighs> have a moratorium on these like AoE. This is like
No! Jesus. This, what is this? Like, what is that thing? It's just this weird orb that just, like... I mean, Mimic Tear is dead now. The whole fight is kind of BS, like, I won't lie. Like, I'm not... I'm, I'm really not a fan of this. Like, it obviously seems doable. Like, we're getting it down to quite low. It's just, like... All the bosses in this game that are annoying me, they... they it's all for exactly the same reason, which is that they, they continuously spam things that make you have to run away from them. Which just prolongs everything because you spend the fight not hitting them, you spend it running away from them. Compounded with the fact that this one is also spamming shit that homes in on you from a distance. So you run away and then pew 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 pew! And so you have to get- it's just like, it feels like shit. It doesn't feel insurmountable, it just feels like annoying. Like, this part of the fight, I, I get it, it's not interesting anymore because I've done it like six times now. Like, it's, it's, this is the problem I keep talking about, it's like, I'm gonna make a zone on the ground that kills you if you stand in it, so you gotta keep running away, that's all it is.
a lot of this game isn't fun. Like, I'm gonna say that. I don't mean it's insurmountably difficult, I mean it's just like you're just dealing with bullshit. Like, it's like, here's another thing, I'm gonna throw this at you, and this, and it's like, none of this is, like, interesting. It's just... It's way too chaotic, and all the fights involve projectiles and AoE attacks that mean you can't hit the fucking thing you're fighting. And the fact that I've asked Sin to delay the premiere for 45 minutes means I'm, I'm committed to doing this for another 45 minutes. Okay. You stupid ring, there's a stupid ring, okay, good. No, it's doing the stupid fucking... What is this orb? What is it? What do you do? What? What is this? What is this orb? Like, what? What is it? 
Like, I have no idea what the fuck that was. It doesn't seem to have a limitation to it. It just follows you everywhere and is just shooting you the whole time. Okay, stupid ring thing time. Do your stupid ring thing so we can go home. Do the stupid ring thing. Oh, you're doing three of them because it's the Elden Ring. Um, where are you now? Good! <sighs> Just fuck off. Thank you. If we have to do that boss fight for every ending, we're not seeing every ending. <laughs> oh, hello. Become Lord of Friends. Okay, here we go. I do not want to save and quit because I'm... Oh, okay, hang on. There's a grace here. The grace is... Touch grace. Hang on. I seem to only have one option. The only option it's giving me is become Lord of the Frenzy. Or oh, switch action. Oh, no, okay. Okay, I have one option. There's only one ending. I don't know what I did wrong. This is me fighting Melania. Oh my god, we're Ghost Rider! Right, okay, I'm locked into this ending. I know there's apparently a way to heal it, but um, we're not doing that on stream. Well, okay, Sin, this actually ended before the premiere, so... Okay. I have Millicent's quest open on the file we backed up, so we can do that. Well, no, I can do that. I'm not streaming it. The thing's going into overdrive. Well, Millicent's alive on my file that I've backed up, so if worse comes to worse, I can just restore from that. Probably in 15 minutes, okay. Look well, good, there we go.
All right, the Radagon is Marika thing. Actually, that's really interesting because that's something we talked about ages ago. When the first trailer dropped, when we couldn't decide, like, who that character with the thing was. Um, and, like, I posited that, like, because there's an argument that, like, is it a man, is it a woman? Because they seem to be different depending on how you look at it. But, like, I posited at that point, is it actually, like, is it, like, it's gender-fluid characters swapping between the two? Because obviously that would interest me. But, um, I guess it is not in the way that I thought. I thought it was going to be a whole, like, um, binaries breaking down, so, like, the shattering of the Elden Ring creates a male-female dichotomy, so this character keeps switching. Um, but instead it was, like, Radagon and Marika are the same person. Like, that's... Kind of what... Yeah, I mean, it, it, there's a lot of stuff about doubling and, like, people sharing bodies and stuff, and... I think they're fused, because, like, I... On my whiteboard, I've been, like... <laughs> talking about um like the the ways people are constantly being divided and put back together and like parts are being removed and replaced so it all it all very nicely coheres radicon america being the same okay so coming up with the testers all these people apparently thought <laughs> melania was okay Also, like, for reference, when we talk about, um, like, from outsourcing a lot, like, look how many of these credits here are just, like, something incorporated. They're not actually from. Because, like, the reason, um, like, basically that from can make these gigantic games without being a huge studio with a huge budget is that a lot of it's outsourced, and this is, like, when we've been going into, like, um, old concept art and old models and stuff that were leaked from the games and talked about, like, um, uh, like, the old maps and old textures and things. It's not coming from From, it's coming from the people who did this. I'm gonna have to go back and look over all the story stuff, but, like, we're at the end now, so... This Frog Nation, the company that allegedly don't exist because these games are written in English first. Uh, voice cast. So Patches is listed here. I did not, I think I mentioned this, I didn't see Patches because I just completely missed him and when I went to where he was supposed to be, he was dead. So I don't know what I did, but he's gone. I recognized a bunch of like the staple, the sort of staple of actors there. I don't, I didn't meet a lot of these people because it's such a huge game. And when they get to Bandai Namco Entertainment Europe, they'll list the guy who leaked the trailer. <laughs> Also, I know that I know the testers didn't really think they didn't really have the final word on Melania. It's okay. I was joking. What I'm saying is everyone here collectively is responsible for Melania.
So one of these people from Bandai Namco Entertainment Europe, they're the one that leaked the trailer. <laughs> Thank you, Hero. I feel like, Melania, Miyazaki is guilty, but everyone here is implicated. That's how I look at it. Also, my little kitty is here to thank- to congratulate me. He doesn't have to worry about Elden Ring. The thing I like is that the whimsical Oodle logo is actually on the Elden Ring box, so it's this enormous gothic tree with like, like flames and then Oodle! So okay, let's just check the um, remembrance. Uh, ah, oh, okay. Right, this is good. This is like uh, Dark Souls 2. Because it's letting you, like, decide not to end the game right away, so... We can look at the items we got, and uh, then we'll call it a night. Look at that 500,000 runes for that boss. Like, that's kind of the numbers this game is trafficking in. Sin, this is the post credit scene. Okay, hang on. Oraloo. Uh, when Godfrey, the first Elden Lord, was robbed of his grace becoming tarnished, he took with him his kinfolk and left the lands between. After the long march of the tarnish came to an end, Godfrey divested himself, becoming a simple warrior once more. So then the idea is, like, he was Horaloo, he became Godfrey, then he became Hor he went back to being Horaloo. Um, and that gives us Axe of Godfrey. Weapon of Godfrey, broken in battle, fought as leader of Tarnish during the Long March. Weapon is symbolic of Godfrey's vow to conduct himself as Lord later, becoming emblem of golden lineage. Um, and... Okay, that's just... Uh, okay. Alright, so... Um, it was the vassal beast of the greater will and a living incarnation of the concept of order. And it's Marika's Hammer. So, stone hammer made in the lands of the Numen. So the Numen is something they talk about in the game, um, in the item descriptions. They're like outsider sort of celestial beings who came to the lands between Marika was one of them. So, stone hammer made in the lands of the Numen, the tool with which Marika shattered the Elden Ring and Radicon attempted to repair it. Okay. The hammer partially broke upon shattering the ring, becoming smothered with rune fragments. Uh... Sword wrought from the remains of a god who should have lived a life eternal. Thoughts on what the weapon portends are many and varied. Some consider it the mark of a great sin or sign of great devastation. Uh, okay. That's interesting, like, um... Marika broke the ring and then Radagon attempted to repair it. That's... That, that seems like an interesting kind of... Actually, I want to see what happens. What happens if I... I don't care, I can have a reverted save file. Uh, Lindell, where are you? Come back, Lindo. My oh, Lindell's down here. What happens if I go back to Elden Throne? 
Because if I can trigger the ending again from Elden Throne, I won't need to revert the save file, will I? Because I could go do Millicent's quest, get healed, come back, and do the one with, like, Rani or something. This game has such high numbers that 500,000 allows me to level up three times. Let's go for 89 strength. Look at those numbers. You can only get one ending. I just want to see what's there. Let's just have a look. Oh, okay, it's just locked off permanently. Okay, I thought, I thought you'd be able to go through and trigger the boss again. Alright, that was Elden Ring. Um, it's done. Let's, uh, actually, hang on. I'm curious about, like, the number, the trophy numbers going on here. Hang on, it's frozen. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so... We're one of the 0.2% of people who made it this far. Uh, so far, so like, how many trophies are left? Um, okay, so that's all. Da -da 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 -da. There's some boss here I haven't done. Um, at least we know what these are. So these are all these are all the ta okay talismans, ashen remains, armament sorceries. Um, that one there. It's in the shard bearers, so that'll be Melania. And then those would be the other endings. So five other okay. There's five other endings, but there's only two other trophies that look like endings. So I'm assuming there's like three major endings and then two variants on those endings. Um so this one here, this would have to be Melania just based on because she's the other shard bearer. And then we've just got, okay, all weapons, all ashes, all sorceries, all talismans, and then there's just like one boss we don't have. And it doesn't even look like a particularly hard to find boss because it's 5%. So, um, I feel like despite its size, you could probably reasonably easily, if you... Went so far as to get to the ending, like, you could probably platinum this. It's certainly, like, unless there's some particular, like, um, particularly difficult to acquire weapon. Or sorcery or something, this probably doesn't, it may not actually be that difficult to platinum this, compared to the other ones. Anyway. Um... It's a good thing to end on. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna relax with uh, some real hardcore gaming. So yeah, um, we're premiering the Braidor episode in about four minutes time. So if you want to see me play City Connection, um, that'll wait and play it on another stream another time but i will uh see you guys later thank you so much for sticking around sorry for the occasional bouts of salt but it is a very hard game and even the people i know who are super super into it all agree that the numbers are too high the level requirements are too high the damage output is too high um I, they may patch this at some point i don't know but yeah, thank you so much for sticking around. Um, I'm gonna get get whiteboarding soon, and um, Sin and I may have some sort of Elden Ring like um, story content out at some point. But right now.